listeners have come to Chicago from all over America. Because this is Battle Machine's only racer search all year, yo! Whoever wins today earns the right to step up to the big time Battle Machine races. If street racing's your thing, Battle Machine is where you prove you can run with the best. Hey, who knows? One of these drivers could be the next street king, you know what I'm saying? Alright! It's time to go, people! Come on! The finals will be starting in just a little bit. But first, check it out. You've seen them in the DVDs, you've seen the magazine covers, and seriously, all the racers would kill for his crown. Leo Watanabe, people! The showdown king! Thank you so much for coming out today. Everyone here at Battle Machine is super psyched you could be here. Yeah, you know, I ran a lot of street races too. Until I went something like this. Yeah, it was my ticket to the big time. Still, it's nice to get back to such small races. Well, it may be easy. Right, oh yeah, check it out. There's Ryan Cooper in that green S13. He's been on fire today. That dude's definitely a Battle Machine prospect. You know, I don't know about this Cooper guy. Uh, he never would have cut it back in the day. They must have really lowered the standards this year. <laughs> I'm not gonna stick up for Cooper. His driving's gotta do all the talking. Okay, okay. These dudes are looking ready. Every one of them is exceeding for the win. Because this, this is the big one. The winner of this race gets an invite to the big time battle machine races. So come on, Chicago. Shut down. Make some noise. challenge weekend. Challenges are the true test of your skills. No need to bring your whip. Battle Machine is providing all of them. Just uh, don't ask where they got them. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, to level the playing field, every car has been hand-tuned equally. The cars are ready, 
All you gotta do is drive. If you wreck, you do not have to sweat the repairs. Yo, Battle Machine Mechanics will fix any damage you take, <laughs> up to a point. If you total a car, it's done for the whole weekend. You total all your cars and uh, you're heading home, homie. The only rule you need to remember is that winning isn't enough. You get to dominate. You earn points by racing. The better you do, the more points you get. Earn enough points and you'll dominate the weekend. Manage to get that far without totaling out and you'll walk away with a new ride. Drag tournaments are all about posting the fastest times. Tournaments consist of multiple runs on the track, right? So, while you're only gonna see one driver line up next to you, remember, there are a gang of other dudes competing too. Okay, to post fast times, you're gonna need to heat your tires to the perfect temp. And you're gonna do this in the staging area before each round. The goal in staging is to build as much grip as you can. You're gonna do this by holding your RPMs within the perfect staging zone as shown on the tack. The more grip you get in staging, the more traction you're gonna get going down the 1320. All right, this is important, homie, so listen up. Watch for the start signal and time your first shift to get a perfect launch. If you jump the gun, you'll be disqualified, so be careful. Nailing a shift in the perfect shift zone means you go faster and have a better chance to win. Hey, don't redline your car for too long or it'll totally grenade your engine, which will hurt your chances to win the tournament and it'll hurt your wallet. For an added challenge, why don't you try using the clutch and racing with a manual transmission? Okay, grip races have a ton of different types, but generally, they're all about being the fastest car on the track. Grip races feature a bunch of drivers, all of them are gunning for the win, which makes for some dangerous moments. Fast reaction times will keep you in the race. When you're coming into tight corners, use the arrows and driving lines to pick the key spots to apply the brakes. Look for chances to pass other drivers, but try not to put yourself in a bad situation by passing in unsafe areas, you know what I'm saying? You know what they say, rubbing is racing and all that. You can intimidate the other drivers by trading paint with them. Be careful how much contact you make though, because your car gets damaged as well. The more damage you take, the more engine damage you take, which makes winning that much tougher. If you take too much damage, you risk even totaling your car, so be careful. Drifting is all about being judged based on how well you can control your car in a slide. The longer you hold your drift and the smoother your transition, the higher your score. Max out your points by pushing your car as fast as you can while maintaining a deep drift angle. Initiate a drift by steering into the corner and tapping the e-brake. Once you have your car drifting in the desired direction, throw the steering in the opposite direction to counter steer and hold your angle. To stitch together a run of multiple drifts, release the throttle to throw your car in the opposite direction. Then hit it again to keep traction lost. Hey homie, like they say, practice makes perfect. You can also try taking a practice run to get a feel for the track before the event. When you build your car, you can't just put together an all-around performer and expect to compete. The other guys are bringing cars built specifically for each type of race, so you better do the same. If you plan to haul the same car between race days, it's a good idea to have multiple setups to make sure they're tuned properly for different tracks. Remember, some of these guys are running parts you can't even find on the shelf. Hey, but don't trip, because if you prove yourself, the local shops might let you in on their secrets. Do what you can with aftermarket parts, or feel free to improve on the car's OG design. Every last bit of weight counts up there, so uh, either get on a diet or put your car on one with some stronger, lighter parts. For those super high-speed runs, smooth out some lines and see what you get in the wind tunnel. Hey, do you want to jump straight into the car and drive? The shop can install whip upgrades. They'll take care of all the details. If you don't want anyone else touching your whips and know exactly what you want, you can handpick your own parts and spec out every detail to build the sickest custom combination. Then back it up with some numbers at the track or on the dyno. Hey, the car is looking tight. Hope you can keep it off the wall. There's no safety net here, homie. You bring your own cars and pay your own damage. Race days are a mix of different race types. Unlike challenges, you get to choose which cars you bring. Choose carefully though, because you can only bring one car per race type, and it's gotta last the whole weekend. You can bring a backup car too, but uh, don't rely on it. Hey, remember to take care of your cars between events. From now on, all repairs are coming out of your own pocket. You can pay to fix minor bumps and scratches between races. Winning 
dominating and breaking race day records will earn you big rewards. The more you race, the bigger the payoff. Remember, you are here to dominate. Retiring is an option if you're in too deep, but if you quit before you won the race day, you lose the points you've earned. So take pride, little buddy. Race hard and take care of your cars, all right? Come on. All right, all right. Speed Challenge is all about mastering the art of high speed control. In order to get the edge in your competition, you need to push your car to its limits. But yeah, if you push too hard, you risk totaling your car, which will definitely cost you some serious dough. High speed car control is all about finesse and tight, precise movements. So uh, don't over control your ride. At super high speeds, every bump, dip, and groove in the road could derail your car and cause you to lose traction. You know what I'm saying? So keep a close watch on the conditions ahead. You can also draft your opponent by tucking behind them and ride their tail. Remember, when you're drafting, you don't need as much throttle, so ease off the gas slightly. Save that extra power for when you're ready to slingshot past them. All right, before I forget, check this out, people. For the next 10 minutes and 10 minutes only, the lovely Sophia is going to be posing with four very famous cars. A gang of dudes out there recognize them, because I know you've done been whipped by them. That's right, we got the four cars belonging to the Kings. Yo, the Kings are straight up legends at what they do. Come on, check them out. <laughs> and of course, you can check out Sophia, too. <laughs>
Well, that was quite an... Oh, what's this? Oh, I don't believe it. That's Ray Krieger. Now, the Grip King can only be here for one reason, ladies and gentlemen, and that is to challenge Ryan Cooper. Oh, a battle is imminent. Well, well, ladies and gentlemen, Ray Krieger is here to fight for his crown. The Grip King does not fancy upstarts at all. Well, you look at that! Seems Cooper has really made the Grip King a wee bit angry! Oh, hey, hey, there's no call for that, Krieger! Well, the Grip King's saying that if Cooper even lasts in the third race, that he'll put up the pink slip to that brand new M3! There it is, everybody! Brian Cooper slots the win! Ray Krieger has lost his crap! Oh, my! He'd even put up his M3 for that last one! We're looking at a new Grip King! That's unbelievable!